Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Lexus Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. What is up? Happy Friday. I do have to say, I did just lie. It is not a sunny day. It is pouring down rain right now, but that's okay. We still have the sunshine. Today's video is a little bit different because I basically had heard of this company called Newly from Tiffany Fur. She had made a video about it on her second channel. I'll leave that video linked right down below. And after I watched that video, I felt like I needed to try it. If you don't know, Newly is a subscription clothing rental service. I didn't realize it's actually owned by Urban Outfitters. There's a lot of different brands on there. There's Reebok, there's Free People. They even have a vintage category, which I thought was really cool. It's $88 a month, and you get to choose up to six items that you rent for that month. Oh, this video is not sponsored by Newly, by the way. All my opinions and experience as a normal consumer. You can purchase any items that you end up liking for a discounted price. It's not really that much discounted, just saying. My main reason for wanting to do this video is I feel like a lot of fast fashion companies are realizing that so many consumers are not purchasing as much because of the ethical and sustainability aspect. And obviously they don't want to go out of business. So coming up with creative solutions to kind of help the consumer feel a little bit better about their purchasing. I'll be talking a little bit later about my opinions on Newly and this whole idea of renting clothes. Basically, I decided to take the next five, I mean, it's after the five, days that I did it, but I took five days of trying out the items that I purchased, or not purchased, I guess rented. I picked the items that I wanted to rent, but it comes in this little tote thing, which is a reusable tote. They are trying to definitely appeal to the like sustainable customer. I'm going to try out these items and kind of see what the whole like hubbub, hubbub, hoopla the whole hoopla is about. Alrighty, so it is the very first day of me trying the Noli subscription. I have an idea of what I think I'm going to wear. Basically, I'm actually going to Orange County today to thrift with Anna from There She Goes. I figured it was the perfect time for this to be the start to kind of give a good impression. Heart was kind of set on wearing this, but I feel like it's a little bit too dressy for the thrift store. This shirt is from Urban Outfitters and it retails for $60. All right, my room is now a mess. I I have spent way too long, probably like 30 minutes trying on this. When I get clothes, I usually think about like what I already have and that way it just mixes in together. Whereas all the stuff is a little bit different than what I have. So it was very difficult. I decided to actually just go for this. The only thing is even with like sticky double-sided tape, I cannot get this to just go on my skin and I do not want to flash boobs. So I just put an undershirt as much as I love it without because it looks so delicate. I decided I literally have no choice and then paired it with some light mom jeans, very similar to the actual photo, even my haircut. And then just these docks, just because I figured the white would look really great. I don't know why, but I'm feeling so anxious about it because I never go thrifting like this. Like this is just so flashy. I'm definitely like weirdly nervous. I think it's because I'm meeting Anna for the first time and I'm in something that's not necessarily in my comfort zone. Even though this video literally isn't supposed to be me dressing outside my comfort zone, it just happened to happen. Last time I met someone new to like go thrifting, it just like didn't go how it was supposed to go and so now it's like scarred me. So I made it to Orange County. The one thing I did notice is like, Usually when I'm going thrifting, I'm driving, so then I'm wearing a lot comfier clothes, whereas I'm wearing like pretty like tight mom jeans. And then this is just a, kind of annoying me. I don't know how people get it so perfect. Also, I got my hair cut yesterday, so I'm also trying to get used to that. So there's just lots of things. Hello. Yay! Super fun. We're gonna continue on. This shirt is really hard to take off, so I'm trying stuff on over my clothes. Um, I just got back home from thrifting with Anna. I feel so much more comfortable in this now. I do still think that this style top is just like very frustrating. Like I had to safety pin some parts just because it kept like moving and it like adjusts. But I got so many compliments on it from like the Goodwill employees. They were so nice just in general. I even met a viewer and she was like, wow, you're like all the patterns and stuff. And I was like, yeah. I'm really happy that I did end up wearing this. I, I do really like the sleeves and I really like the style. And that is all for today. Put on some pajamas. <laughs> it is day two. Today I am going to see Frozen 2 with my boyfriend. And I figured it is quite chilly outside. So I feel like this sweater 
is perfect for the occasion. <laughs> Something comfy and cozy. I was going to wear it yesterday and then like that was a whole thing. So this sweater is from I-C-H-I and the price tag is insane. Like it retails for $140, which is just wild, especially because it definitely sheds. It doesn't seem itchy, but it definitely sheds. Like I'm sure one of these little fuzzies is gonna go in my eye. This sweater, I really do like the pattern. I think it's nice and funky and cool and something I would definitely thrift, but only for like $10, not $140. Because the colors are quite intense on the sweater, I'm trying to figure out what kind of jeans. I may just do some like light wash jeans to really go, since it's called like a 90s sitcom sweater, that maybe I will do that. But this is what it looks like. I just ended up putting it with these kind of like skinny jeans. They're from Urban, or yeah, they're from Urban Outfitters. I thrifted them a bit ago. I really wanted to wear this untucked because it is quite chunky. I light wash mom jeans are like kind of tight and I'm gonna be sitting and so I kind of wanted to like let the sweater breathe and then I just put some white sneakers on it. I am putting this denim jacket on it right now just because it is quite chilly outside and there's a lot of holes in this sweater. All right so we just saw Frozen. Yeah Frozen I too. Of not course. gonna lie. I think our favorite part was well I guess we can't really say but Chris Christoph song. Christoph song is the best song. And then I did want to ask John what he thought about my sweater, my outfit, because it is, I told him that it is part of the subscription. Obviously he knows because he's never really seen this sweater. So I wanted to see what do you think about this sweater and how much do you think it is? So uh, the sweater is definitely cool. Uh, I like the colors in it. Um, it looks snugly. It's really cold out, so I want to <laughs> have that myself. I'm going to guess that it was 70 to 90 bucks. Wow, I didn't think you were actually going to like <laughs> guess that. It, it retails for 140 Oh my god! I thought you were going to be like, oh, maybe like 20 Dang, gosh. No. I've never worn a sweater that's that Made expensive. of gold or something? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's like kind of itchy as well. So like, to be honest, my $5 sweaters from the thrift store are kind of better than this, but trying something new. Technically, I'm gonna say that it's day three, but it's literally the same day. I wore that sweater to see a movie, and tonight I'm going with Jessica to see Sierra Schulte's podcast live. She hit a million, so she's doing a live podcast and like a meet and greet and everything like that, and she invited me, which is super rad, and I figured why not I wear one of the items that I got in the subscription box, and I picked up this silk skirt. I had seen this on Urban Outfitters for quite a long time, so I figured why not rent it. Um, it's originally from Urban Outfitters. It is in a medium and yeah, it's just a silk skirt. I was gonna wear it yesterday, but it is so staticky. I didn't realize, which would have been amazing for yesterday, it comes with this little boxing, which basically it is in case of linty, staticky, wrinkly clothing emergency. So it comes with a lip brush, double-sided tape, wrinkle remover, deodorant removing sponge, and static remover. So the double-sided tape would have been amazing for that top. But anyway, yeah. So I just opened it up and I took out the static remover. I've never used one of these. I'm going to just let that dry and then get changed. I finally decided what to wear. I think the thing that's really throwing me off is, again, a lot of these pieces aren't usually in my style. So for me, it's like really difficult to style. And also I've been doing things where I'm going and meeting somebody new or doing something new and that makes me so anxious. And so we finally decided I am wearing this Harley Davidson t-shirt. I just kind of cuffed the sleeves. I have some necklaces on. This necklace is actually broken. I have my glasses on because I can't see. The static thing did help. I think I will have to spray a little bit more. I don't know if it's because my legs are super ashy. I put some lotion on, so fingers crossed that'll be okay. And then I just have my dogs on. And I think this is a very like me look. I don't really know what the attire is supposed to be, so that also was kind of throwing me off. It's okay. We are good. Jessica's here. Oh. Look at how cute she looks. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. She said that she liked my skirt. Oh, so cute. Thank so you. So gosh darn cute. Thank you very much. We both were like, wait, what's the like the attire <laughs> for this? So she said that it's perfectly like it can go either way if it's dressy or if it's not dressy. Like, I'm good to go. It's very and nice also. Thing. You as well, because they're cute, super adorable. So nice. We are going to Starbucks because I don't know if we parked in the correct place. So because it's customers only, we are going to be customers. <laughs> 
right, so today is technically like day four if we're counting Sunday having two days and I am actually going to be filming today I got my makeup all done and ready and I figured I would take these high-rise plaid pants wide leg pad plants which I was so like I didn't know how to style them but I finally figured it out I figured the pants are really comfy I mostly just sit when I film so I'm not gonna get like too much wear out of the pants actually but so this is what the full outfit looks like little funky pants I don't know how much I like the wide leg. Honestly, I think I'm definitely more of a straight leg versus like the wide. I don't know, it just doesn't really feel like me, but I really like how the top portion goes with my top. And then the green cardigan, I think it just has a lot of different colors and different elements going on. I think it's perfect for filming because obviously you really only see like from here up and I think this area will look really good. I'm just wearing some Elsa socks. I'm not really going to be leaving the house so this will be my attire for the day. I forgot how much they retail for. I'll put it on the screen. Alrighty, so it is actually day five i'm pretty sure i just got back from target i actually took some photos of the outfit i love this so much oh i have my denim jacket because it was a little bit chilly probably not the greatest day to be wearing this when i went to target i got some coffee and i could have sworn that i was gonna spill on it and I actually didn't and i'm pretty sure there's an entire like thing about like if there is a stain like it's not that big of a deal so it is this dress like milkmaid style dress it's originally from urban outfitters i don't remember how much it is so i'll put that on the screen i just put it with some docs because originally i was gonna put it with some white sneakers but the color is a little bit more like an off-white and so i had like my super bright white shoes then with this and it just looked way too odd so i'm pretty happy about this and also i think it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable the dress is the perfect length it isn't a medium and it just hits me so perfectly i always say in my videos that these type of like tops never work for me i just don't have enough of a chest to kind of fill them out this fits so perfect i didn't even have to put any boob tape on it like it's just stain which is amazing this is definitely my favorite outfit like i am very much thinking about purchasing this because of how perfectly it fits me i think i'm gonna eat some popcorn i'm gonna edit and that's it for today, but I wanted to show you guys what I was wearing. I feel super cute. My hair, I think, goes with it quite well. I actually just bought some curling iron, not curling irons, but like little spiral things to see about curling my hair without heat. I kind of want to go a whole month without heat styling my hair. I'll still use like a blow dryer, but not using like a curling iron or a straightener. So I bought those. So I think that will help the front of it a bit because my hair is wavy in the back but like not in the front is really weird i don't know why i'm even talking about this to you when this is about i just figured we, we would do a little catch up <laughs> so i completely forgot while editing this video that i ordered six items and the sixth item were these like white leg jeans they're like cropped wide leg they were horrible i hate them so much that was my sixth item that i didn't wear because i do not like the fit of them. All right, and now my opinion on the Noli subscription. Will I be doing it again next month? I think it's kind of a cool idea, but I also am thinking about the fact that it's kind of reinforcing this idea of like new clothes all the time. And one of the articles, it talked about like the consumer wanting to not purchase something that they know is going to go out of style soon. But I also think about it in the fact that you get to try it it so you can actually see do I really love this versus just purchasing something that you actually don't really love. I think this would more make sense for me if I was like going somewhere and I needed something specific like a fancy dress that I would never wear again and so it doesn't really make sense to go thrift one or buy one when I'm only gonna wear it once or like when I went to Hawaii I purchased items that you know I loved but they solely were just for Hawaii and I basically won't be wearing them unless I go back to Hawaii. Also if I went to New York during this time I would need a really big coat and it wouldn't make sense for me to purchase a new coat because 
I'm probably never gonna wear it again unless I go back. So I think that aspect is really cool. So if you were to go somewhere and you needed some specific items that you wouldn't wear again. Also, there is this idea of not like outfit repeating. I mean, I feel like a lot of people hear that from like celebrities that they don't wanna like outfit repeat. It's always been one of these things that as a normal person, you're like, what the heck? You're just gonna buy new stuff and get rid of your old stuff because it was already on your Instagram. But unfortunately, that that is a real thing and even sometimes I'm like I've already worn that shirt in a video or an Instagram post I can't post it again which is so silly and I think we need to see more of that because then viewers look at that and they're like oh I shouldn't outfit repeat when it's like oh no like you should when you buy something you should love it and like rewear it as much as possible I, I feel like I have a lot of mixed opinions about it of is it a good thing is it a bad thing I think where they were trying to go with it people aren't gonna stop completely shopping it's it's not possible and a lot of people can't. This could be a solution for those people that actually have to buy stuff. I mean, everyone's situation is very different and if this is going to bring a solution to those people, then that's great versus them just purchasing new stuff that they may not even wear again. I think what was great is I was able to try some styles that I have always wanted to try and I unintentionally got stuff that was outside of my comfort zone and one of them I actually really love and I'm so tempted to purchase it because I love it so much, but the retail price is not very discounted whatsoever. And I feel like I could probably get it on Poshmark. But I did think about if I'm purchasing it, is it then technically secondhand because it has been rented from other people? I did try to find out like, where do these clothes come from? Do they purchase them to an extent because it is owned by Urban Outfitters? Are they just taking items that are on their like production line and using those? And how many times are clothes usually rented for? And what do they do with the items that end up being damaged that they aren't able to re-rent? Do they sell it in some way? Like I did find an article on BuzzFeed News that I have right here where the director of marketing kind of acknowledged basically what I just said and that they don't really actually have a clear idea of that, which I think is kind of weird that you wouldn't think about that before you even kind of rolled it out. I wish they almost had a sales section of items that are now damaged I think that would be really cool. I think as a whole, it is doing a little bit of greenwashing, being like, we're the solution for the sustainability and ethical fashion thing when they aren't really giving us any information. Now, talking about damaged items, I did technically damage one of them, which I'm very upset about. It is the floral one and this little string. It just unattached and I was a little bit like, wait a second, like, am I going to have to purchase it? It's like a $50 item. Any like damages or anything, like you don't have to worry about it. They kind of take care of it. Like I said, to an extent, it is a solution for some, but it definitely isn't a solution as a whole. It's again, just a way to still get consumers to purchase, but to an extent in a little bit better way, kind of. I don't know, I'm just kind of like torn on my actual opinion about it. And I would love to know your guys' thoughts about it in the comments down below. Personally, thrifting and secondhand fashion is the most sustainable way because you're keeping clothes out of landfills. So I think that will always be my number one, but I really wanna try other things to kind of give you guys information and my thoughts on it because you may not have thrift stores and sustainable fashion a lot of times is very expensive. But if you guys need any inspiration on thrifting and secondhand fashion, make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter Alex Sunshine 83 to keep up to date with me during the week. I will see you guys on Sunday for a brand new sunny Sunday video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I'll have lots. Bye!